Hey guys, I'm the Cook's Assistant and today we're going to be making the Choc Chip Crunchies from RuneScape. Armed with a fork and a preheated oven, we're going to take some butter that probably should have been warmer before you started recording, and we're going to work this with the back of a fork until it begins to soften. Once our butter's softened a bit, we're going to sprinkle in our sugar. I'm using all white as it's all I had, but if you enjoy a bit more of a caramelly taste to your crunchies, then use half white, half brown. Now, we're going to cream our butter and sugar together until a light coloured paste is formed. Try not to over cream your mixture as like I said, we're looking for a paste and not a puddle. Lose the footage of you stirring an egg into your sugar and butter mixture like an absolute amateur before adding a generous amount of vanilla bean paste. If you can't find this, extract is absolutely fine. You then want to stir your vanilla through the mixture until it's evenly incorporated. To some flour, add a cooking show ramekins worth of baking soda, followed by a pinch of salt. Then, we're going to stir these together with a spoon until they're all friends, before adding a heaped tablespoon of our newly acquainted friends to our butter, sugar, vanilla and egg mixture. The reason we're adding a small amount of this now is to remove the scrambled egg-like texture of the mixture. This will also allow the rest of the flour to combine easier later. Now to our mixture, we're going to add half of the remaining flour and give it a quick stir through. Once that's combined, add the remaining half of the flour and give it another quick stir, this time employing the help of a wooden spoon, as our mixture is a bit too thick now to be stirred with our trusty fork. Get a bar of chocolate and beat out the frustrations of your terrible RNG before realising that you're starting to redecorate your entire house due to a hole in the wrapper and transferring it to a Ziploc bag instead. Once safely contained within the bag, continue to deliver your wrath to your chocolate using a rolling pin this time, and once you feel at peace, simply reach into the bag, shake off the foil, and you should have some nice chocolate chunks. Now that our chocolate's sufficiently chipped, we're going to add it to our dough and give it a light stir to incorporate the chocolate evenly throughout the mixture. Take an oven tray lined with whatever you have to hand as well as your crunchy dough. Now take a reasonable sized amount of the dough depending on how big you like your crunchies and roll the dough around in your hands to form as many balls of the dough that will fit on your tray when evenly spaced apart. I ended up cooking mine in several batches. Now that our tray's full, we're going to put our crunchies in a preheated oven for 8-12 to 12 minutes or until they lightly colour around the edges but are still soft in the middle. As the RuneScape recipe calls for chocolate dust, the minute that our crunchies come out of the oven we're going to sprinkle them with cocoa powder before leaving them to cool on a wire rack. Now you'll have seen me applying cocoa powder with a small sieve, but in my opinion this actually made them a bit burnt looking and bitter, so in hindsight I'd recommend that you lightly sprinkle the cocoa on by hand. I've put a mixture of half sieved, half sprinkled on the rack so you can see the difference. And here are our finished crunchies. I'm just going to give one of these a little taste for, you know, research purposes. And as expected, they taste great. I mean, it's chocolate and sugar, what's not to like? If you liked this video and have a suggestion for what I should cook next, then feel free to drop it in the comments section below. Other than that guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.